Hello cool dudes and welcome to another walk. This time it's going to be a short walk. Yeah, because short walks can be fun. I am in Shoreham after a train journey that was full of arseholes. Yeah, by arseholes. And now I'm going to walk to Eynsford. And the object of this walk is to see the lavender, which is supposed to be spectacular according to a magazine that I read. Yes, um, that is a great badge again. This is the walk that I'm following. Walk three from local Kent Walks, Shoreham to Eynsford. I've got plenty of time for this walk, so I'm just gonna wander around Shoreham and take in some of the environs, such as the lovely church here. This is a very nice village. The Ostler's Box. Apparently the last remaining example where the ostler will wait to attend the horses of customers on arrival and departure. Good ham, egg and chips for lunch. And now to continue with the walk. Regular viewers might well be admiring my shirt. And this was the second shirt purchase when I bought two on sale. This is another Ayachoco shirt, which as well as making me look like a refined explorer, has got mosquito repellent in bread, not in bread in it, in, 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 embedded in the fibers. So pretty much means that I, when I'm wearing this, I'm immortal. I will let you know how I get on with it. Brilliant. It started to rain, even though it wasn't forecast rain. Always pack a wet coat, not a wet coat, a coat. Check this out. This is what I wanted to see. Beautiful. There's an absolutely wonderful smell of lavender, but if you stay in this field for more than 10 seconds, then you immediately fall asleep. Went to the shop and bought some lavender. It was packed full of screaming children. This is not the ideal walk if you want to get away from people. There's a lavender people trade-off. I've just seen a massive fish swimming in this river. Lullington Castle is open. Put your hands up if you think I should go to Lullington Castle. Well, only about three people watch this, but um, two say yes, so let's go in. I've just paid nine pounds to look around someone's garden. I am now in the World Gardens. This is uh, Madrona. I enjoyed her earlier work. Court covered captives for health and safety. I can only conclude someone must have been killed. Maximum cool dude. I really wish this was my house. I need at least 8 million views in this video. Plant quiz. What is the name of this species of plant? You've got five seconds to answer. Ladder nut. This is Lullingston's bathhouse, which I think was a plunge pool for the estate workers built in the 1730s. There's your history. This tree's been on the grounds of Lullingston Castle since around 1800. Well done viewers who voted for me to go and see Lullingston Castle. It was very expensive, but I very much enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Let's do the last bit of the walk. Looks like some archaeological dig there. Apparently that was part of the old Roman granary that they're digging up just to confirm it was there, and it is there. So anyone who's worried about it, the granary was there. Well, cool dudes, I'm arriving at Ironsford Station. It was 
disappointing in terms of lavender. There were too many people, but Lullingstone Castle was very nice. In total, 5.28 miles, just over four hours. Most importantly, thanks for watching. Don't forget to join and remember, stay cool. See ya. Finished. Just join the club. Bye.